Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Virgo. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Now it could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation, but please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So we're just using this deck today. This is the uh, Light Sears Tarot. So let's get straight into the reading, shall we? Angels of Love and Light, could we please have clear and concise messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? What do they need to know in relation to love for this week, please? And thank you. Now, guys, um, happy birthday, Virgo. So happy belated birthday to those of you who already had your birthday, but also happy birthday to those of you who are getting ready to celebrate. And also, if your birthday is today, happy birthday to you too. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season, okay? Um, so sending love and light your way. So let's get into the reading, shall we? Okay, well, I'm not surprised to see this, guys, because... Um, Interestingly enough, I'm actually filming this today on the 10th of September, which I believe is the Pisces full moon and we have the Queen of Cups coming out in reversal. So someone is very emotional or they may have strong Pisces placements or you do, um, but there has been a lot that feels um, quite overwhelming, okay? So potentially your person could feel quite sensitive right now emotionally or maybe you are. Um, but I feel like there is a lot going on right now, a lot of confusion and illusion, interestingly enough, as I bring up the Pisces uh, full moon, which is all to do with that. Um, so I feel like someone is trying to kind of take a step back, as it were, to address certain things and reevaluate what needs to be healed or what needs to be um, and getting considered more seriously. So let's get into this. Anyway, what can we get here, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in relation to love for this week, please? And thank you. OK, that wanted to show itself. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. OK, I'm getting this indication that somebody feels quite guilty. Um, they feel I'm getting ashamed of themselves for holding back certain pieces of information I'm getting from you. Um, I'm getting this indication that this person feels like they should have just told you the truth um, with how they felt about a particular situation, that they weren't happy, but I'm getting they felt led or called to be in this other situation for a particular reason. Now, it could be because they are a parent themselves, um, so they have their own children, they have children with this person potentially. Um, or maybe I, I'm give, getting like their own parents, okay? Their own parents may have had a, a word in this about, or grandparents about who they should be with or shouldn't be with, um, who they should stay with, who they shouldn't stay with in relation to what's going to be best for, you know, yourself or for your children, etc. I feel like this person feels um, quite resentful from these other people. As I say that with the Queen of Swords in reverse, yeah, there's definitely been a lot of, I'm getting arguments here and a lot of bitterness, okay? Yeah, somebody's getting ready to drop someone or something else from their past. They're wanting to lighten their load, as it were. Um, and I'm getting the sense of drop any unwanted obligations. Um, yeah, somebody's just had enough. I feel like you might be upset because your person hasn't spoken up to you um, about how they feel to do with a situation. Potentially this person feels rejected by you. You and this person may have not had any communication with one another. You could potentially be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius even for some. Or you have this strongly in your chart, your person does. Judgment in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I'm getting this indication that this person was kind of ignoring the call. Um, to kind of close off a karmic cycle in their life. And I feel like this must have been very upsetting for you because you felt the deeper connection with you and them here with the lovers. They may have thought that whoever they were dealing with was their, I'm getting divine counterpart, was their person, the one that they were meant to have everything with. They may have lost out a lot with this other person, but they were most likely bound with a soul contract of sorts. Um, it was just meant to be a very strong karmic lesson 
So where that's where that kind of illusion and confusion came into play here. Um, as what I was getting at earlier. This person really didn't see a situation for what it was in their past. And you may have seen it before and said of something to this person. Um, but then they may have not taken very much notice of you. And that could have been very debilitating, I'm hearing. Very debilitating. Could be dealing with the Gemini here. You wanted slow and steady progress with this person. You wanted them to kind of buck up the courage, as it were, to move on forward with you, to face their fears, to make a decision, to make plans with you. But I'm getting pride and ego got in the way. Um, but they knew who you were to them here with this Empress energy. This is divine feminine as well, Taurus and Libra. And that you and them were meant to close a cycle of whatever wasn't serving you both in the past, regardless of how wounded things were and renew again with one another you may live at a considerable distance um with that world card okay i feel like this person may be seeing you online or they have been watching you online they know that you've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations in your life but you focus on your own healing this person knows and recognizes that um you and them would be the best fit for each other it would be the right fit for you and them to get together, but the timing wasn't right for this love to blossom and develop. I'm getting with that two of cups. You felt true love for this person and they do actually feel true love for you, but they've been very confused all of the same um, and unsure about where to actually go. This person may have felt quite lost. I'm getting lost soul. This person was unsure about what their main purpose was in their life, their life purpose, their soul mission. This person may have had difficulties um, connecting spiritually. This person may have even not even acknowledged the sense that spirituality was actually a real thing. You know, that there was sen a sense of strong soul connections. Yeah, they may have just thought that there was a sense of physical kind of attraction in the past a sense of physical you know but they didn't know that there was something stronger than that really or they may have not have known it this person's on the way to you here with that chariot they're trying to balance out their mind and their emotions okay they're having difficulties with this i feel like this person wants to close the gap between the two of you and for you and them to travel to move things forward um they do want to put the work in and have the new beginning but they know they have to come forward towards you with some sort of heart to heart um, to have this acknowledgement about why certain things didn't move forward in the uh, in the past. Why this person didn't kind of follow the call, as it were, to move forward towards you and held and getting themselves back from you for the sense of self-sabotage. I'm getting the sense that they put the green light on. I'm Wow, I'm, I'm getting they're putting the green light on now, but in the past they were putting on their own red light, as it were. So... It's like they, in a sense, were controlling the traffic lights of when they were going to turn green. Um, so this person may have been self-sabotaging the connection with you. In a sense, they may have felt like they weren't worthy of having something more solid with you. So they held themselves back and stayed what they were, you know, dealing with or whoever they were dealing with at the time. This person could have strong cancer placements or you do. This person's on the way back around here with that six of swords in reverse. They can't stop thinking about you. All they can think about of you and them getting together here and uh, the sense of nostalgia that there was at one point with you and them. Look at that. Three of cups and the ten of cups and the hangman in reverse. Pisces energy. So they were hanging around, but I feel like something is going to be unveiled and they may say to you, look, I'm getting ready to get off my butt, as it were, um, and come forward and say to you that actually I want the happy home life with you and I want our connection to feel bright and breezy like it may have once did in the past and I feel like this person wants to acknowledge that um, a huge reason as to why this connection wasn't so bright and breezy in the past is because they weren't taking accountability for their actions. Um, this person may have not wanted to come forward and express to you that they, I'm getting, they know that they did you wrong and um, interesting to see that we had that seven of cups in the beginning, okay? And then we saw the ten of cups minus the three of cups equals the seven of cups. So there's that link there, okay, about why this person didn't come forward and put in the work. But what I'm getting now is that what you don't know or what this person isn't telling you is actually they're putting in a lot more work to have this new beginning than you are 
currently seeing right now with that Aries energy to do with the fall, okay? They want to reach out to you here with the Page of Swords. They're keeping an eye on you. They want to revitalize this connection here because they feel the soul contract with you here with the lovers. And they're very much determined to take action here with that King of Wands energy. And now they feel that potentially other people are wanting to fight for you or um, your attention right now. But this person is hoping that it's not too late for you and them to kind of get together because they now see and recognize um, and feel that they know who exactly that you are and who you've always been with this Empress energy. But look, I'm filming this on the full moon on um, full moon on Pisces and we have that kind of full moon here with the Empress. Something's getting ready to be birthed here. I'm getting the sense of your single days um, <laughs> maybe coming to an end. Look at that. So we have the King of Cups. We have the world. Yeah. And then the nine. So two nines here. Nine, nine, nine. And then the closure of an old cycle. This person wants to have something more solid with you. They want to kind of lock it down. They see and know um, that you are only really wanting and willing to have a long term commitment with them. They know what they've got to do. They've got to detach here from, I'm getting the devil with this devil card showing up, could potentially from a Capricorn, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, this person is obsessively thinking about your connection now, but they know that you've got your guard up here with the seven of wands. And if they come forward towards you in a particular way, um, then, you know, come forward towards you with any, any lies or not being fully transparent. I'm, I'm getting the sense you're quite willing to show them the door quite willing to show them the door um bear with me as i just move the cards okay wow i didn't realize that i had as much space as i did <laughs> okay maybe you gave this person a lot of space in the past maybe things have been a bit here there and everywhere it's been a bit out of focus you felt the passion and the chemistry with this person here with that Knight of Wands energy, but things just never, I'm getting transpired. Never kind of really amounted to anything in the past. This person is very attracted to you here. Very attracted to you. They know that you are, I'm getting their destiny, their North Node, and that they're to have this connection with you. Look at that King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. They haven't told you this. And look at that with seven of pentacles. Well, I'm getting seven of pentacles in reverse. This person hasn't put in the time and effort with you in a physical basis, but they've been doing it energetically. Um, they have been thinking about it a lot. But what I'm getting with that seven of swords in reverse, this person's going to reveal a secret to you that they've let go of something that wasn't working if they had a commitment elsewhere and that they want this with you. OK, they're facing their fears and getting ready to speak up for what they want with you. But they have had issues with doing this. As I say that with the Eight of Swords. They have had issues with speaking up and telling of their truth and letting you know what's what. As I say this again with the Page of Cups in reverse coming out. They've had difficulty of expressing their emotions. They've been stuck. But they know that if they want anything with you, they have to become unstuck. And they have to speak up, you know, um, and tell you how they feel rather than keeping themselves to themselves. You know, they want to let you know that they're definitely not putting in work with someone else. If that is something that you were worried about here with that devil showing up, they're not putting any more time and effort and energy into this, into a karmic contract of sorts, a karmic cycle. Um, if they've had a, an addiction or they've had to deal with codependency um, or they may have had some sort of bad habits, this is something that they are addressing they potentially could be dealing with people around them who are having a difficult time in accepting that this person wants to have a new life and move themselves forward. Yeah, because they're selfish here with the nine of pentacles, okay, in reverse. And <laughs> they know that they're about to come forward towards you with this empress energy and to have a proper commitment with you. Because I feel like this person is now understanding that your dreams were shattered in the sense that you didn't have this get together with this person and have the fresh new beginning that you've always wanted, that you knew what that was destined to happen, but never 
um, amounted to anything in the past because the timing wasn't right with the Ace of Pentacles. You knew that this person would come back around into your life once they'd let go of what they needed to from their past. But they have been dwelling on the past and they've been dwelling on how to come forward and approach you as well. Yeah, because you have your guard up, because you have your boundaries up, because you have worked on yourself here. You've done a lot of uh, healing. And so if this person is to be able to come forward and be direct with you, then they have to have done the same because you wouldn't have been on the same level as each other. Look at that, Ten of Wands in reverse, okay? So you're at this point in time when you're coming across as very strong here. You're persevering in whatever you're doing and dealing with at this time. And you are getting ready to surrender and to let go and understand what's meant to be for you will be for you. I'm getting that song. Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, yeah. Now I'm getting Say La Vie, which is not part of the song, but it's something else. Say La Vie. I'm getting like French. So you may have been to France recently. There's a connection to France or you've always... I'm getting that sense of the Eiffel Tower, wanted to have that kind of romantic proposal at the Eiffel Tower. Maybe you spent time together in Paris or you've always thought about it or you've dreamt about it. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. See, that's why I said earlier, you've waited a long time for you and this person to get together and have that fruition. And then 77 here and then 777. You could be seeing those numbers a lot, guys. Six of Wands. Look at that. Beautiful. You will have victory and success with one another. And look, another seven. Seven of Swords in reverse. This person is going to unveil certain pieces of information to you that they once are getting held quite close to their chest. I feel like this person is so determined to have this victory and for you and them to kind of push on forward that they're just going to throw, I'm getting, throw the kitchen sink at it. They're going to want to do everything that they can to try to get this to work with you. Um, they don't want any drama. They certainly don't want any drama. I'm getting with a baby mum or a baby daddy here with whoever they're dealing with. Um, they don't want their home to be unsettled. They're going through a breakup, a separation or a divorce. They want happiness here. They know that they can have this with you and they've been enlightened to this, but you just don't know that they've been enlightened to this in a sense because you haven't heard it from the horse's mouth. You've had your confidence knocked, okay? This person's also had their confidence knocked. They've probably been manipulated in every other which way to do with someone else or something else that's been very much having a hold on them. They may have been very much stuck in their own head about what they could do or couldn't do. Um, as I was saying earlier, lots of other people kind of I'm getting barking orders at them kind of in their ear. But their thoughts have definitely played a massive part in this person from coming forward towards you. They've very much been more stuck in their kind of mental body. This person is needing to take the time to center oneself and to get grounded but obviously at this time it's incredibly challenging um because of the energies are so overwhelming with this full moon in pisces i know that most likely i'll probably be pulling out this reading um sometime next week so from monday on onwards i believe that's the the 12th but you could be seeing lots of sevens i'm getting lots of eights fives sixes okay um i'm getting 56 65 68 86 81 18 51 15 61 16 20 21 27 72 76 67 77, 66. Yeah. I did see earlier on the um, on the timer here, 
um, 12, 12, did that, but I didn't have the opportunity to kind of say it out. So I'm also picking up on 33, so 333, three, three. you could be seeing lots of those as well. But this person wants your connection to be um, be the main priority, to be centre stage, as it were, to be in the spotlight. For you and them to have the sense of progression. This person feels more in this connection than you realise that they do. I'm getting the sense that they know how to wear a mask. Um, they know how to cover themselves up, as it were. This person actually does feel very vulnerable right now, but you wouldn't necessarily know that if you were to look at them or see them online. But this person is not feeling quite out the woods yet to do with another situation. They could be transitioning right now. Um, this person may have gone through a spiritual awakening or they're coming out the other side of it. And um, it's been very trying here. Very trying. Um, I'm getting the sense they have this full acknowledgement of knowing that because now they've most likely gone through that, the dark night, the soul, etc. They are starting to realise what you've actually been through on your own. And how strong and resilient and I'm getting the word powerful that you actually are. And you are taking a centre stage, sta I'm getting stage of your own life. And I want to say Steve for some reason, Steve. Um, so some of you know may know a Steve. Now I'm getting Stacy. Stella. Stephanie. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting the word sympathy. Sympathy, but symphony as well. So this person knows that you're meant to come together. And when it will come together, you and this person, it's going to be very um, flowy. It's going to feel much, much easier. There's going to be a sense of symphony with it. It's really like a beautiful dance, like an orchestra, like an orchestra type of thing. Um, I'm getting orchestrated by the divine. There's a divine plan to all of this. I feel like you know this. And why there has been the sense of resistance and the stop and start. The certain things needed to play out the way that they did. Um, and this person's hoping that you're going to have that sense of compassion for them. They don't want you to see them as a victim because most likely they already see themselves as the victim or they did in the past. Maybe you felt like a victim in this whole thing in the past. But I feel like there's... There's something that has changed between the two of you. This person wants to come rushing in, absolutely. But then at the same time, they know that you're hesitant, most likely, to open the door. Or if the door is already open, which I feel like it is, um, for this person just to kind of put their toe in and kind of wave high, as it were, and speak to you. I feel like potentially that's all this person really wants to do, is actually talk to you, but... They know that they have to come clean about the past and that could be something that's really stressing them out here, guys. They know that they've hurt you in some sort of way, but they have also been very hurt elsewhere. I'm getting full circle. This person hopes that you can come together like full circle. Like they know that you've had a difficult time of it, but they're hoping that you can kind of get back together Obviously, it's never going to be exactly like it was in the past, but they're hoping that, you know, you both have learned what you've learned, what you've gone through, the sense of spiritual lessons, and then trying to be, in a sense, grateful for what you both have been through separately, but together before, in a sense, coming together and for it to kind of blossom um, at a later date when there's that sense of alignment, uh, that vibrational alignment between the two of you, that energetic alignment, which I feel like there will be, but... There need to be some sort of words communicated first. And I feel like this person is just trying to find the bottle, as it were, to come forward towards you and to come across as confident. But in 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 other circumstances, they may come across as quite confident. But I feel that actually this person is not really that confident deep down. But they don't really want you to know that, okay? But anyway, guys, that's all I'm kind of getting. Um, I feel like there are going to be a lot of... Um, I'm get, Wow, I'm getting... There's going to be a lot of success on your end. 
this person may even see it or other people are going to see it anybody that's done you wrong um or tried to kind of manipulate certain things around you um i'm getting they're going to get their karma for that they're going to get their karma for that i feel like you're going to i'm getting shining star uh i'm getting rags to riches so there's something that could be happening in your career um that could be putting you in the spotlight you know because you persevered you grit your teeth and you've gone through what you've gone through but you haven't let it stop you so i feel like something really positive is going to be um blossoming for you relatively soon okay but anyway guys wow lots of different messages um so i hope you guys have enjoyed this reading as much as i've enjoyed reading for you today if you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel there are um donation links available um so thank you so much to those of you who've already donated i greatly appreciate you guys um even if you do not financially donate a great way to energetically donate is to like share subscribe and comment down below and i'll eventually get back to you guys on those uh, comments um but if you have enjoyed this reading please hit the thumbs up the like button as it does make a big difference with the channel and it really does help get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time so thank you all so much um i hope you have a wonderful week please take care and yet again um happy birthday virgo i hope you are enjoying your birthday season and we'll speak to you very soon so thank you take care and bye for now guys bye